Hey, it's Tuxedo Mark, and uh, I'm going to do another unboxing, or unbagging anyway, because this just uh, showed up on my porch today. Um, I, I kind of know what it is. There's someone that's here stuck on the back of this mailer. It, ew. I don't know. But anyway, I guess whoever... Uh, closed it at uh, the warehouse or whatever, like left uh, a piece of hair taped to the mailer. Um, anyway, I kind of know what this is. I ordered like two different Archie prose books, and uh, it's one of it's one of them. Um, not sure which right now, but. Okay, so I got Betty and Veronica's Guide to Crushes. Now, what this is, it's, uh, here's the back. What this is, um, uh, back, for those of you that don't know, like, Archie Comics history, uh, back in 2005, Miramax was going to make a live-action Betty and Veronica movie. That was the plan, anyway. Uh, apparently, a script had been written, and it was spotted at Archie Comics' then-president's uh, house. Uh, his name was Richard Goldwater. He was the son of one of the founders of the company. And his granddaughter apparently spotted the Betty and Veronica script at his house. And Archie Comics even had a banner apparently on their site announcing the film. And then uh, nothing ever happened. It, it wasn't made. Uh, but Miramax actually put out a series of books to get some Betty and Veronica merchandise out there. Um, and I actually have a stack of these. I'm going to show you the ones I have already. Uh, there's actually a prose novel, like a full-length novel, or novella anyway. Uh, the series is called Betty and Veronica Stories, and this one is called What a Catch. And basically, Ver Veronica, like, coaches a Little League baseball team or something like that. Um, there was a second one that was suppo that supposedly came out, but probably didn't, uh, for Betty. I think it was probably canceled. The one time that I tried ordering it, the order got canceled. Uh, so. Then, uh, there's, uh, Betty and Veronica's Guide to Life. So, the guide to crushes is like, um, you know, a pairing to that one. Uh, Betty and Veronica, best friends forever. It's about friendship. It's the back of the, uh, guide to life one. Okay. Alright. And then, uh, you got... Are You Betty or Veronica? A quiz book. And this is kind of like a, like a, like a little flip book or something. It opens up like this. Um, so now I got Betty and Veronica's Guide to Crushes. And I've enjoyed uh, the books that I've already read. So I'm sure that I'll enjoy this one. Uh, basically... It's advice. Um, just read, read it some, sometime. Um, each of these books, basically, there's like advice in them. The guidebooks have advice. Uh, Best Friends Forever has like friendship stuff. Um, 
are you Bet uh, Betty or Veronica? That's like um, a series of quizzes. Like, okay, if you've ever read like a classic Archie comics, like not the reboot stuff, but the old stuff, you know how there's like puzzles and like crossword puzzles, word, word searches, um, and sometimes there's little stories that focus on Betty and Veronica's friendship and compares and contrasts them. Stuff like that. Okay, so that's basically what these books are, except that's the entire book. It's a, these books are just filled with that kind of stuff. Um, the, uh, uh, Are You Betty or uh, Veronica? That is a lot like quizzes that you'll find like in teen magazines or online at like, uh, like 17. Um, they do that kind of stuff. So that's that kind of stuff basically. And yes, I know it's technically for girls, but I enjoy that stuff. And I've always liked Betty and Veronica as characters more than Archie, who's kind of plain and stupid and inconsiderate and basically a jerk. Um, so that's that. I just wanted to show that. That's the latest of my um, Betty and Veronica Miramax book collection. That's the latest addition to it. I also ordered uh, there was basically there was a second Betty and Veronica quiz book. So that's another thing that I ordered. I'm not sure when it'll arrive. I don't think it's shipped yet. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.